Is that mommy guilt? Is that real? Do you guys feel that? Can I show them your teeth? Whoa! It's like a hurricane when my kids get ready in the morning. Or tornado, I don't know, or both. Apparently it's supposed to help with like, teeth. Yep, just eat off the floor, it's cool, no big deal. Here he goes! <laughs> You're so handsome, even with a rotting mouth. Can I just ask them to clean when they come over? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't find my tweezers anywhere, and look how terrible that is. <laughs> uh, hello, people, welcome to a new day. My part looks really weird. Maybe I need to fix that. Um, guess what I just found in my van? A smushed banana. Can you guys even see this? Smushed banana it fell on the floor, and then someone stepped on it. Come on, give me a break. So, I guess I need to clean out my van today. <laughs> Um, what else do I have to do today? I'm at the gym right now. Well, I'm in my car right now, but I'm at the gym. I need to go inside the gym. Today is yoga day. It is Monday. Happy Monday and all that stuff. It's actually called body flow. I've told you this before. Uh, I love it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Wentworth is ready for a nap, so this will be interesting to see if he'll stay in the nursery for the entire hour. But, uh, what did you do today? What's on your agenda? Because I don't know what's on mine. I need to pluck my unibrow obviously and I need to clean my house it is atrocious I know I say this every time but it's like what happens here's what happens the kids they pick stuff up and they're like la da da and then they just drop it wherever they feel like it <laughs> so much fun for mom to clean up and so I need to like tidy up my whole house I still have Easter stuff that I need to put in our shed yes I am a procrastinator when it comes to like going, putting stuff outside, whatever. It'll get there. Um, it's not in my way. I need, I need to clean my house is what I'm trying to say. And then I really want to make some brownies because, because, <laughs> really, is there is there a reason why? Uh, cherry brownies though. And I have some butter. I got it yesterday at Costco. I normally go grocery shopping on Monday, so I'm like, what am I gonna do today? There's plenty to do. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Clean, make brownies, go to the gym, hang out with Wentworth, and do all the things, and fix my part is what we're gonna do, first and foremost. Although I have a braid in, so like, is it worth it? I don't know. Okay, anyway, namaste people. Here I go. Okay, people, it's been about, I don't know, hours and hours. I went on my computer, I ordered some crap from Kohl's. Their towels, their bath towels were like $3 a piece, so I couldn't resist myself. Our towels are so old, they're like ratted and torn and holy. We need new towels, needless to say. So I bought a ton of those, and then what else? Oh, and I bought some stuff off Thread up, is that what it's called? Oh my gosh. I spent way too much time on that website, way too much time, and then I put Wentworth to sleep, and def when those packages come in, I'll be sure to share them with you. Maybe, I will, I don't know. Do you wanna see towels? Probably not. Um, and so now I'm looking at the state of my house. It is not looking so hot, guys. Let me show you. Wentworth is not so impressed. Wentworth, do you wanna do the ab roller? You gonna get some abs? Yes. Do you wanna do the ab roller? Yep, here, here he goes. <laughs> gonna have a six pack in no time. <laughs> okay, so the state of my kitchen, oh my gosh, it's not too bad, but like the floor is disgusting. I'm making a list of all the words that Wentworth can say. Uh, it's not too long yet. <laughs> Oh, and I have to sign my kids up for after school activities. Oh my gosh, I have more work on the computer to do. Here, oh yeah, look at all those veggie straws on our floor. Yep, just eat off the floor, it's cool, no big deal. Shoes on the couch, everything's a mess. There's just like garbage everywhere. Do you feel me, got like a, a flip flop in the middle of the floor? And I just have to clean this. Worst of all is my bedroom. Ah, my bed isn't even made, so let's do this. When I'm overwhelmed like this, I like to take it one room at a time so that it's not so overwhelming. So, let's clean, okay? And then we'll make some brownies. This is the aftermath of getting ready in the morning. It's like a hurricane when my kids get ready in the morning. Or tornado, I don't know, or both. Real cute. 
Um, I forgot to tell you guys about this. It's the Target Beauty Box. And this month they, <laughs> hey, this month they gave you like options. Like, I don't know, seven different options of what beauty box you wanted. So I picked this one. I don't know. And it was $7. I got like a mascara, a elf kit, a brush, a makeup, what, like so many things. Half the things I don't really use. Um, but the other half, like the mascara alone was $7. So I thought, why not get it and then have everything else? Do you feel me? So I got this. And uh, no regrets, so if, if you don't know about Target Beauty Box, they send emails. It's amazing. So now I need to clean the part of my house that people actually see when they come over. We're expecting a guest and I would be so embarrassed if they saw all of this crap on the floor. So uh, can I just ask them to clean when they come over? <laughs> <laughs> you want to show them your dance moves? Why don't you dance? Oh, there it goes. It's the dance floor. <laughs> Okay, I realize this is not an ideal background, but I've been carrying around this thing underneath my armpit for like 20 minutes trying to tidy up the house, looking for my battery charger, my camera's dying, chaos is all around me. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you. It's a tablecloth I got from Joanne Fabrics. It's cactus. What? It's adorable and it's round, which is what I need. And I can always only find like uh, rectangular ones or square ones. So I wanted to share that with you. It's adorable. I got it for half off. Amazing. Bathroom is falling apart. Have you guys heard of this uh, toothpaste? Oh man, maybe I need to talk to you about it. Huh. Apparently it's supposed to help with like teeth. <laughs> I don't know, I wish I knew better. Um, I read a lot of great reviews about this, but I think Wentworth, oh, let me talk to you when I have a nicer background. Just let me finish cleaning. Okay, people, hours have passed again. Um, I had to charge my camera. No, when we're there. Um, I wanted to share with you what I made for dinner. It's a crock pot meal and it needs to be ready in like two hours. Will it be? No. So we'll eat a late dinner tonight. Here it is. Butter. It's like a cool three quarters of a stick of butter. Chicken thighs, a packet of uh, ranch seasoning, a packet of Italian, not Italian, packet of uh, chicken gravy. 
Is that right? <laughs> and um, I think that's it. I wanted to add peppers, but I don't have any, so we'll get over it. So yeah, that's dinner. I wanted to talk to you guys about this little man for a second. <laughs> Are you dancing? You singing, guys? He's a dance machine. <laughs> okay, real talk. This little man has, what is it called? Bottle mouth or bottle teeth? Rot? Is it called rot? I hope it's not called rot. I think it is though. Bottle rot? What an awful name. Um, ironic thing is, he's never had a bottle in his, li in his life. But I do nurse him uh, while he's sleeping, so we think that's how he got it. And we noticed it a couple of weeks ago, just on the tops of his teeth. Oh, are you upset? Can I show them your teeth? Whoa! Anyway, so I bought this really expensive toothpaste to try to help it, and then I bought like vitamin K and um, uh, I think vitamin K, like gummy vitamins. He would not eat them. They're, they ugh, they were disgusting. Even I, they are like covered in sugar. Boo, boo, boo. And anyway, so I'm looking online, like natural ways to heal it before bringing him to the doctor. I made an appointment for him. Um, but it's like, don't give him juice and don't give him sugar. Like, he, he does, he has a decent diet. He's never had juice. And, like, ugh, I don't know, guys. It's so, it's bothering me so much. It hasn't happened with my previous two kids. I brush his teeth. He's got, like, good oral, uh, oral hygiene. So, it's, like, bumming me out that he has this issue. And I don't know how to fix it. So, if you've ever had this situation occur, let me know what you did to help it or fix it, whatever, etc. And like, I'm just trying everything I can or everything that I'm reading offline. And I, I mean, it's only been two weeks, so I don't know if any of it's helping. Uh, but I think what I'm getting at is I think it occurred because he didn't get the vitamin K shot right after he was born because I wanted it to be peaceful and all that. And if I can go back and do it again, yes, I would give him the vitamin K shot. Um, after he was born for multiple reasons just peace of mind and then also the teeth issue because I really think that's what it stemmed from can they see your teeth we're gonna try to peek inside his mouth are you ready oh <gasps> your mouth that's right where's your nose that's your tongue Ooh. where's your nose nose Oh, he's pointing to it on the screen. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's impossible. So what I'm gonna do instead is try to insert some pictures. Hopefully I can get something of him. Anyway, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I'm like, no, I'm so sorry. I know I did this to you, my poor baby. He's fine though. He is so handsome. Even with a rotting mouth. <laughs> okay, I also wanted to talk to you guys about your babies. And if you can remember, Wentworth it has his 15 month checkup tomorrow, even though he's like 16 months, almost 17 months. <laughs> Third child problems. Um, and I'm making a list of like all the words he can say. He's nursing right now. And when Avelina, before she turned a year old, she could say four word sentences. That's not a joke. That's me. Being a full-time stay-at-home mom with nothing else to do, uh, we didn't turn the TV on. I didn't turn the TV on until she went to bed. I worked with her all day long with like flashcards and coloring and you know all that stuff, learning stuff. And like she's fine now. She's not like a genius <laughs> by any means. Mm -hmm. But I feel bad. I don't do that stuff with Wentworth, and he can say words. He's up to like 15 <laughs> words or something like that, maybe a little bit more, 15 maybe what I can remember, but um, he doesn't do two word sentences like go bye bye or something like that, do you know what I mean, like he doesn't do that, but Avelina would be like, I want a snack, and like at 13 months, definitely by 15 months she, she was speaking well, um, and he, I don't know, he's fine, I know he's fine and like average, whatever, but a part of me is like, oh, I need to be a better mom. I don't know. Is that mommy guilt? Is that real? Do you guys feel that? I should read to him more. I read to him every day, but maybe I should read to him more often every day. I don't know. Poor little bean over here. 
Is that just like the curse of having multiple children and not having time? Enough time for like all of them? It's after school right now, so it's like get snack and then do homework. And today we don't have an after school activity, so we have a little bit more time to, you know, spend time as a family. But still, it's like, oh my god, where does the time go? The days are long, but the years are short. Aveline is almost. Aveline's already seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's already seven. Yeah. Oh my god. It goes by so fast, guys. I can't even explain it to you. Anyway, I don't know what I'm trying to say other than his appointment is tomorrow and we're gonna check on his teeth and hopefully he's not dying. But I will probably end the video here. I don't even know what we did today, little toesies. Ah, uh, oh, crud, you guys. You forgot to remind me that we're making brownies. So here we go. You do? Okay, so I'm totally not prepared, but we're gonna make it together. Uh, what is, what do I need? I need two eggs, one stick of butter, and mix. And then I'm gonna throw some cherries in for fun. All right, seems easy. Melt the butter and then add the other stuff. Oh, really? Is that what you're gonna do? Okay, dump this in. You wanna help, bud? <gasps> Chocolate chips. Are there chocolate chips in there? Okay, now some eggies. A one egg and a two eggs. Okay, whisk this together. Watch your hands because this is hot. Okay, go ahead. Yoink. There it is, guys. It's finally done. I can stop talking about it. It's been weeks I've been talking about chocolate and cherries as a dessert. I even got a comment today saying like, I wonder when you're gonna stop talking about it. Well, here's the thing, guys. I have a craving and then I try to have self-control and not make it right away. And then, you know, a month later, finally give in to it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and cleaning. I know we cleaned a little bit. Alex came home uh, earlier and he was like, oh, the house looks great. I was like, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stop giving me false hope because I can see with my own eye, like the, the floor is disgusting. It needs to be swept, mopped, vacuumed. Anyway, I guess I have to do that tonight. All right, Eleanor's calling for me, so I will hang out with you later, guys. Bye.